Okay, we got Jenny Simpson. She just watched Danny Jones win the national championship and the Colorado women yeah. win the national championship. I mean, what was that like? I mean, it, this is the best day to be a Buffalo, is, is to watch something like that. And they just put together such a beautiful race. And what a gift for the team to give to Danny that they all get to win together on the same day. I, I mean, it's like a total fairy tale ending, you know? Um, and, and Danny's had years to get it right and came here and got it right on the right day. Um, it was just, I mean, it was just incredible to, to watch them do that on the right day. What is your involvement? So I still run and train with the team several days a week, probably three days, three or four days a week, kind of depending on my training, their training. In fact, I'm, I'm kind of sad that cross country's over because now all my running buddies are going to take a break <laughs> and I have to go train by myself the next few weeks. Uh, but yeah, I'm still really involved. Um, I don't travel with the team to races very often. Um, and so this is the first time I've ever been to national since I was running in the meet. Uh, so what an incredible gift they gave to me to be able to like celebrate them winning at every level on such an important day. So do you do like workouts with them or just easy runs? Yeah, I mean, I do workouts. I'm, I mean, if you're a Buffalo and you're still training in Boulder and you're with the team, you're at the Sunday long run. You know, that's kind of like the, the cornerstone of, of our week. Um, so I do the long run with the team. I do easy days with the team. Um, and then very often out with them on workouts too. So did you did you expect this? I mean, 65 is pretty incredible score today. Yeah, I saw a couple of people uh, that I'm friends with kind of before the race, and I said they're going to do great today. I mean, they, they're so ready to go. They have the will to win every day. And so if they came here and just showed us what they've been working on, um, I thought especially combined with the conditions, they were going to do great. Yeah. And what's your, what's your relationship with, uh, like, with Danny Jones? Oh, Danny is amazing. I, I heard that she already mentioned to people uh, that I braided her hair this morning for the race. So we're we're really, I mean, we're close. It's it's fun for me to be as involved as she wants me to be in, in her training and her running and the decisions that she has to make with school and caring about her running and that kind of life balance. Um, you know, it's it's tough to be the best person on your team. There's a lot required of a young person in that position. And so um, I just try to be there for her in any way to say, hey, I, I was there and there were times that I got it right and times that I got it wrong. And this is what I learned from that. And um, and just kind of be there for her in that way. Do you feel like your relationship with her is a little bit more special compared to some of the other women on the team just because she's up there winning national titles. She's like, you know, she's right 407. She's yeah. Like, she's a mile. Like, yeah. yeah. I definitely think there is some, there's some like natural opportunity for her and I to connect. Like we raced in the same race at USA's last year, right? So that's unique to other people on the team. Um, but you get out of relationships what you put in. And so the people that I'm closest to or have maybe the most opportunity to speak into their life or people that want that in their life. And so I'm really available to everyone on the team and it's not, it's absolutely not like a hierarchy of the better people get more time you know yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's just like any other relationship you get you get in what you want out of it yeah and so i mentioned to danny after the race i was like you know she she's up there now with the greats of colorado like you emma coma and car gaucho and she started like you know tearing up a little bit yeah i mean what is it are you going to welcome her to the legends club like, what is that like How yeah it's know? it's hard to understand that or believe it when you're in the moment you know um but I mean, like I said earlier, I never won a team title. I never won an individual title in cross country. And so to achieve those things is, is enormous. And, um, and so, yeah, she's, she's putting together an incredible collection of years as a Buffalo. Um, and when you do that at CU, it almost always means you go on to an incredible career even after college. So the, I'm, I'm looking forward to her, her staring down those years as well. Yeah, and I want to ask about, I mean, Colorado has a history of having Running well in the bad conditions, I think 2006, the men won. Is there something special about Wetmore or people on the team that allows them to do that? Well, I think there's a lot of special things about Wetmore. I think there's a lot of special things about the team. But I think one of the really great things is that I, you know, I, I, I was saying earlier today to the team and to the coaching staff, like there are other people that are going to say bad conditions. That's great. We'll still do great. And inside, they're just hoping that that's true. Yeah. We run every day in 
in, in, in whatever we wake up to in the morning. And so when we say we're going to do great in bad conditions, we're not hoping that's true. We know that's true because we've done it. And we've, we go out and we run in whatever Colorado tosses at us, which can be, uh, you know, a, a lot of different conditions. So, um, yeah, when we woke up and we told the team, you can do great today in these conditions, uh, we knew that was true and they knew that was true. Very good. All right, thanks for the time, Jenny. Yeah, yeah thanks. Good to see you.